Hey, Mark Nelson. This is day two of the Facebook Live Challenge. Today, I'm going to share a story with you. If I could tell myself as a newbie what I should be doing different. So let me get into this thing. I'm going to take you on a story first. And this is a real personal thing. It's I remember this as if it was like stinking yesterday. My kids were young, elementary school. My wife was a stay-at-home mom. And this was the middle of the night, maybe 1 or 2 in the morning. I was down in front of our small computer. Head in my hands, tears in my eyes, trying to figure out what I could do. See, life had thrown us a curveball. Life has thrown us many curveballs. But this was a catch. See, we were losing our house, and I had no idea what I could do. It just threw me away. Before I head out in this story, if you're on the replay, tell me where you're coming from. If you're on live, tell me where you're coming from. See, the worst part of this story is, right, and I don't want to say the worst part because it, it, everybody learns from things, but what was going on was life had thrown us a curveball. And my wife truly had to stay home with our kids. So I was the money maker, and we were living paycheck to paycheck, like many people. And I knew getting another part-time job just didn't work because I wouldn't get paid enough. So I started thinking I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is start in the home base industry, home based business industry. I was so excited because I knew I could do this. I knew I could make it work. Well, quickly what I did was start spending more than I was making. See, I was trying to learn, it was a brand new thing. I didn't know anything about technology. I didn't know anything about the computer. I didn't know how to do a home business. So instead of living paycheck to paycheck, I was living paycheck to nothing. And we weren't soon gonna lose our house. We were losing our house. I couldn't look my wife in my eyes. You know, I didn't even know what to tell my kids. I just didn't know what to do. And my personality started changing, right? I, I started sitting hunched over, couldn't look anybody in the eyes. I kept hearing these voices like, God, Mark, what were you thinking? You know, you aren't smart enough to do this. Why could you achieve with this? You, you don't know enough people. You don't know how to do this online business. Who's going to buy anything from you? All these voices kept running at me. And here's where they kept running from. See, growing up, I was always a tall, gangly looking kid with freckles, my ears kind of stuck out. And if you called my name, especially if you were a girl, if you called my name, I turned 90 shades of red. So I was teased all the time by everybody, by family, by friends of family, by my friends. And I was kind of a dreamer, so they always laughed me. What are you thinking about? You think you're going to play in the NBA? All this came flooding back to me. And I started believing them. Now, we did have to fight our way through. But I kept this persona for a while in the home-based business, even though I dabbled and I still didn't even know what was going on. I just thought I was a loser. I, I was one of these people who weren't going to make it. But then one night, I heard something. You remember the Lion King? See, I heard this voice. Remember who you are. Remember who I am. But I started thinking that. So now the story, I'm going to shift this to you. See, so remember who you are. Have you been beaten up in your life and people told you you aren't good enough for what you're doing? But at the same time, see, you have always been a winner. I've always been a winner, even before birth, see, because when we were just a little sperm, we had to swim to be the first one of that egg so we could be created. See, we've been blessed. We've been created to help people. We've been created to be the best we can be. So the biggest thing that was going on in my head was this belief of listening to all those inner voices. So I talk about what would I share to myself as a brand new person. 
I would share this, is remember who you are. You were created to be special. You were created to lead people. You were created to help people. You are a winner. See, I tell myself all the time this. I, see, because we're human. At least my wife says I'm human once in a while. And what we tend to do is beat ourselves up. We tend to listen to these little voices in our minds here. But see, you're better than that because you are a winner. I am a winner. So what I would tell myself as a newbie is stop listening to the voices. Go become who you are, who you're meant to be. Be Become who you are created to be and go help people. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm going to give you a little training. I don't want to say training. Something that's going to help you with this. If, if you yourself were like me and if you yourself fought these little voices inside, because I had a really good friend do this. I'm going to tr set you up with a trigger. And what I want you to do, wherever you're at, you know, if you're watching this live or on the replay, I want you to take the time and actually do this. Do you want to see what this trigger is? If you do, type yes below. Give me a yes. Give me some likes. But here's this trigger. Stand up. Your feet shoulder width apart. Shoulders back, heads up. I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to squeeze your forefinger and thumb together and slowly keep squeezing that and get tighter and tighter and listen to my voice. Because here's what I'm going to tell you. I want you to imagine. I want you to remember the one time in your life that you were successful. One of the many times in your life that you're successful. When you know you did something so cool that you could scream at the top of your lungs. And I want you to start squeezing your finger closer and closer together and just imagine that. And I want you to throw your head back and I want you to yell at the biggest time as your fingers are closed as tight as you can. Go, yes! You're a winner. Now what we've done, we've set a trigger. And remember, a good friend of mine did this to me. We set a trigger. So anytime those little voices are coming in your head, what I want you to do is set your trigger. And remember when you were a winner. Remember when things were going unstinking believable for you. See, if you don't think anyone believes in you, give me permission to believe in you, because I believe in you. I hope that felt really good, but use that trigger. That is really awesome. Hey, I got a special thing. I am on this day two of a Facebook Live challenge. If you want to get into this, because this is life-changing, and we tell great stories. We are learning how to use Facebook Lives to build our business. So if you want in on the next Facebook Live Challenge, down below, type freedom in big letters, F-R-E-E-D-O-M, big letters. And what I'll do is I'll send you the booklet, the PDF that will help you get involved in Facebook Lives and we'll contact you when our next Facebook Live Challenge is going on. But hey, I believe in you. You take care.